Hello there, assaulters. I really shouldn't say that at the start of my video, but I'm gonna go with it. Hello, assaulters. Let me catch you up on where I am right now. So friendship wise, uh, two, two, three, two, three, one, and three. Um, the important ones are Jean, Rio, and Sophia, as you can see. I might also upgrade now that I've got, no, I don't, I've only got nine. Ah, oh, that sucks. Um, I'm gonna save up and do Honk next. But Sophia and Rio are there for a reason, as is Jean. There are three because I feel like they're some of the most important NPCs that you can have. But before I get onto that, let's come over to Jack and let me explain something that I didn't in the last video because I'm ignorant and have no idea. I have a dumb head. So in the talent tree options here, you can only have one option per row. So you can't have 25% basic attack and these other two. You literally swap between them. So you can max out whatever you want and just ignore the rest as I've done for the rest of the trees. Uh, like increasing max HP and then down here I've got emergency treatment which gives me a, a, a HP recovery after I get smacked by an elite enemy and I've just ignored the other two because I don't really care about them as much as this. For example I also have resurrection when I die I come back with 80% HP. I don't really care that much about these I put some points in to see how much they scaled and I just wasn't like interested to be honest. Uh, the other additions are penetration I do 25% more damage to elite enemy shields and I do 25% more damage to enemies that are at half health or lower. Coming down here, we have your friend Jean, who is going to offer us goodies. And this is why I like him a lot. Because the talent tree uh, thing is only one like perk per, per row, if you want, you end up saving up a lot of coins. And what Jean off offers over here is very cheap, like the wooden shield. 10% chance to reduce damage by 20%, I'll take that. Increase main weapon damage by 15%, I'll take that. Yo, the bandage again? Just off the start, you know, to begin our run? I like that. So in here, we are going to do an axe run, like I promised. So we talk to our man Hank, and we have spinning disc and cyclone dash available, once again, for the coins. But we've got plenty of coins, I don't care. Spinning disc is kind of okay. You have to, it's like, you throw it, and, and it, it comes back like a boomerang effect. But I'm not really worried about that. Cyclone dash is a nice little just passive thing to take. Um, as you can see, when I do a dash, we get a little spinning animation it just does extra damage um my runs at the moment are very dash centric so i'll explain why and show why as we go uh why that passive is what i chose anyway the main weapon passive which i've got concentrate here i'm gonna level that up right now i've been meaning to get this level 10 but i'm gonna go with a uh, surging strike for the purposes of this run each time an axe it's an enemy damage increases by 30 percent it's just nice passive damage, you know, it's just good to have. Let's get started. So last time I kind of specifically just did not focus on any of the assault level stuff and allowed us to uh, get maximum difficulty by having the assault maxed out, which resulted in a very tough time. So this time around, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna show you what happens when you focus diligently on trying to make sure that your assault level is as low as you can keep it for as much of the run as you possibly can keep it there. Which, surprisingly, you can keep it really low for a long time. Uh, ice. Uh, sorry, fire. Why did I say ice? Ignite weapon. Cool. We'll take that. We've got some nice fiery damage coming off. Now, I'm going to do a bit of backtracking. I'm going to come all the way back here. I specifically ignored this because once you finish clearing a room, um, you then have... The, the assault level stops moving, basically, and you can come back and make longer, more informed decisions instead of rushing. But that is going to be the only chest that I open for the remainder of this first section before we come to the first rest area. I want to save a whole bunch of gems. At the very least, I need, I think, 450 gems before I move into Max's shop in the in the halfway point. Um, I'll show you why when I get there. But for the meantime, the idea is I'm just going to move expeditiously, you know? I'm going to move with a little bit of a kick in my step and uh, kill these enemies and move right on through to the other side. Apparently there's something left alive back here. What is it? What is it? What dares? Yo, axe that thing, shoot it. Out of my way. Wasting my time, dude. Uh, ranged enemies, I think I mentioned this in the last video, but if not, I'll mention it again. Ranged enemies are some of the most annoying things that you can fight and typically they spawn um, on the upper floors or platforms whenever there's like you know, elevations, like up the top here. There you go. Ranged rat. <laughs> uh, normally it's enemies that like to... Ah, I jumped right into that. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Uh, normally it's enemies that like to spit projectiles down from above onto your head because they're all mean and have no souls and they're heartless and they're just, they're just cruel. Frost arrow or a couple of dash upgrades. 
I'll take the frost arrows. Uh, every few seconds, we're going to recharge icicles that then shoot themselves at my enemies. They're fun. They're handy. Oh, lightning room. I'm going to take this lightning room real quick. Come in here, throw my skill, jump right into a frog's orb attack. I'm being lazy with my dodges, and I shouldn't be. Don't do what beals do. Uh, the skill for axes, I haven't mentioned it. You, you throw this kind of, like, ricocheting attack that bounces off all these enemies and hits, I think, up to five, is it? I might be wrong on the numbers on that, but, you know, it's especially handy for something like... Oh, don't jump into that. Like the fire axe, because you're able to get those stacks of burning on a bunch of enemies without even having to run up and hit them. So, burn, everyone. Nice. Lightning. Uh, what have we got here? Increase the crit rate of all attacks, or increase the crit rate based on the percentage of our charged energy. Let me just get that 6% fat crit boost. And then we move on through. I uh, definitely have more than 450 gems, which is what I want. It's great. It's fantastic. Let's run over here. Talk to Rio. He's going to tell me that my danger level hasn't actually gotten any higher. My assault level. I'm sorry. I keep saying danger level. It's a habit. Uh, reduce skill cooldown by 6%. Yeah, all of these are okay, but I don't need to waste the money. We're going to come over here, and you can see... Honk or Sophia. We're going down to Sophia. I think she only shows up once you've got at least one friendship with her because I couldn't find her in the beginning. But now that I have found her, hello, cuteness. And she's going to offer us a whole bunch of items that are going to make this really fun and very different. So for a start, Skullbox increases all attack by 30%, but I also take 30% more damage. These are the kind of like cursed items if you're going to like give them a name, I guess. Um, that have a good positive but a negative trade-off at the same time. Uh, the Vega Booster reduces the MP cost of sub-weapons by 50%, but of course reduces the damage of those weapons by 20%. But that is actually still a benefit. If it was 50% for 50%, it would come out even. You're just spamming more, but still doing the same damage. As it is, half the cost, but only 20% less damage. If you shoot two shots, you're still doing more damage than if you just didn't take this item. This item is only a net positive. And then the Poison Cleaver, more weapon attack by 25%, but our max HP gets reduced by 25%. And that's mostly why I take in the defensive tree back at the talent trees, I take that extra 100 HP, because the more HP that I can afford to lose, it just makes it easier for coming in here and grabbing that item. And then finally, if I ask her to re-roll the items, she only has four that she can offer at the moment. The fourth one is the red blindfold, and is probably the most important one for me, it permanently gives us one extra dash and also increases the attack of normal attacks and attack speed by 15%. The negative is that all skill cooldown times are doubled, which sounds awful. But what this does is set us up for a very basic attack focused, very uh, dashy, spammy, you know, rushing around back and forth really quickly, um, doing big, big damage kind of build. Um, this mostly, for the axe at the very least, doesn't hurt it too much because the cooldown on its skill is very short to begin with. Um, but it's not its not actually the worst thing in the world. I've noticed that the skill cooldown reduction isn't even... Okay, that guy just died. Isn't even, like, uh, that big a deal for me. I, I find that I can play just fine with my cooldowns being doubled. Die, rats, die. No, die. Sorry I got quiet there. There are toads doing things, and those toads that spit are like my Achilles heel. Or should I say my pettest of peeves? I hate them. There we go. Uh, fire and ice. We're, we're kind of doing a fire build right now, so I'm going to take the fire core. Uh, every time you receive burn damage, the amount of damage increases. I don't know why it's worded that way, because we don't take burn damage, we deal burn damage. So I kind of like to assume that the wording on that is every time you deal burn damage, the amount is increased, which is kind of nice. Uh, the Flare Blitz Hypercore, I'd really like to not take this if I can help it. I'd really like to not take this if I can help it. And maybe take the Ignite Dash. The Hypercore for Fire, you saw the Lightning one last time, it kind of rained all the Lightning down around me, it was really cool, and is like, my favorite one. Maybe I've got to take the Fire one just to show you. Yeah, okay, because these these are passive, they just, let's take the Hypercore. Now, you may have noticed that I ran past and opened some chests, but did not loot them, uh, or at least not the one that was here. This is because I want to save time, and the timer for the Assault level pauses once the room is clear, and you can come back and take your time and make a more well-informed decision. Now, the Enhanced Champion Belt is fantastic in theory, 
uh, reducing the damage taken by 0.5% of max HP, and that keeps stacking up more and more. Uh, it's actually a good item to keep stacking from what I saw before uh, in previous runs. However, you can see the damage reduction stat there is 0%. Sometimes when you take this, I don't know if it's always bugged or whatever, but sometimes it actually doesn't do anything. Um, I would otherwise take the Enhanced Weapon Handle to increase the damage of our, our Ricochet Boomerang thing. But I'm going to take this now, mostly just to see... See, there's no damage reduction increase on my stat page. I don't know if it's it's just not active or if something's wrong with it. Anyway, Coin Room or Gem Room. We'll take the Gem Room. I've got enough coins. There's like nothing else for me to spend coins on right now until I hit level 30 and unlock the next rows of uh, talent tree things. Throw that axe. Ricochet on the lads. Kill them. Kill them. Throw that axe. Ricochet! Fire damage! Open that chest up. Come in here. Free the beasts. Uh, I've got to show you the hypercore, don't I? You're not going to be happy until I show you the hypercore. Let me show you the hypercore on some spawned enemies. Alright, here we go. Hypercore. Sh oh, lag! Okay, I, I didn't really get to show you the hypercore because everything decided to have a heart attack at the same time. I'll... I'll... Whoa, dude! Die already! You're supposed to be dead already! That You took a long time to die! I'll show you the hypercore when it comes back off cooldown. Damn, that guy almost got me with the spit. All right, a bunch of gems and your friend over here is spawned in. We don't have enough to buy the next upgrade in Cyclone Dash. So I'm going to run back and get... Ooh, Ice Pick. I, I know what these are. I don't care. The Ice Pick increases the crit damage of all attacks by 20%. Sad that we can't get anything off of your boy Honk here, but... No, Hank. He's Hank, not Honk. They're the same guy. I'm convinced they're the same guy. They're either twins or they're the same dude. But I want to just think that they're the same dude. Uh, throw the Ricochet Axe, let everything bleed and die. Uh, eventually doing that is probably not going to do as much damage and be as worthwhile. Ooh, cheat. No, 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 I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. I saw cheese. Wait, no, I am. This is the boss room. I'm confident this is the boss room. So I'm going to take the extra damage for my skill. Um, all of those items that were on display there that were being offered, I want them all eventually, but it doesn't really matter what I take right now. I'll get them all probably over the course of the run. Assuming that I don't die nice and early. Yes, I knew it. Boss fight time. Let's go. I might get a chance to show you the hypercore on the boss. What's up, Mac? Just don't stay in his horizontal range and you'll be okay. Smack him. Die, Froggy. I'm probably not going to use my skill very much. Yeah, sure, you rapper! That's exactly what it is. It's it's Ken's super, dude. It's, it's Ken's ultra. Shoutouts to all the Street Fighter fans out there. It's literally... Oh... Uh, it's not Shin Shoyu, that's Shoyu Repper, right? I'm not I'm not a big Ken Ken enthusiast, so I forget which ones of the Shoyus is the one that they were just showing right there. By the way, this toad is almost dead. We're doing a lot of damage to him. He he actually is just dead. Damn, dude. Anyway, that's what the hypercore is. The problem with that is it has a very long animation to it. it you actually have to do the full attack, and you cannot um uh, let me, wait, 15 health and a bit of HP recovery, nah, we've got bandages, I haven't even used them yet. Increase HP and MP, do it. Uh, you get locked into place by that hypercore very long, and there's like no invincibility, and you can just end up dead. Talk to Rio, reduce the danger level, talk to your boy, uh, Hank, I was about to say Honk again, and upgrade our spinning disc. Our little Cyclone Dash. I shouldn't say Spinning Disc. That's this thing over here. Upgrade uh, Cyclone Dash. I don't need healing. Thank you very much, Angela. You're still cute, though. I don't need to talk to you. Ooh, that's a lot of Ice Picks available right there. Hang on, hang on. Uh, let me take a look at my cores and see if there's anything I want to really upgrade. I don't really want to upgrade Flare Blitz. Conductive Weapon I could care less about. Frost Arrow I could care less about. I don't need to do any of these right now, okay? So instead, I'm going to buy one of these. That's another 10%. It's now 30%. Oh, but guess what? I'm going to buy another one and go up to 40%. That's really nice. Maybe I'll buy another one and go to 50%. But maybe I'm super greedy and I want to buy another one and increase the critical damage of all my attacks by 60% and then leave. <laughs> so the upshot of that is now whenever we crit, we're going to crit big. And what that also means is that there is another uh, on use uh, gear. I think they're called, are they called gears? On use gears? Uh, my drink, my bandages that I'm taking that I have available right there that I haven't used yet. But, um, oh, that was bad. That was, oh, that was so bad. Uh, basically, I'm just going to shoot a bunch. Ricochet, go. Basically, uh, I want to eventually get rid of the bandages and replace them with the, hello, please. 
with the item that gives me a 50% critical hit chance boost um, when I use it, which is really, really good. I'm going to throw the Ricochet Axe, fire some shots. I haven't got a good sub-weapon upgrade yet. To be honest, I really want to show you guys the... Oh god, no, there's an enemy alive back here somewhere. Probably some ranged rat throwing poison. Yep. Die. Dropped through poison. You know what? Let me suck down on some of that bandage real quick. I might end up replacing it before I get to use all the charges. Waste not, want not, you know? That guy was undying and I just sat there and let him do it. The axe actually can hit them pretty decently, but you can just spam shots if you've got all the upgrades that we do to our <laughs> to our uh, sub weapon. I need I need an actual upgrade for it though. I need a, I need an element for it. Throw stuff. Die. Uh, fire and life. Give me the fire again. Fine. Let's go for it. Reduce the damage interval of burn. Oh, here we go. Uh, the skill from our weapon, because we've got flame weapon, the skill attack of it is increased by 20%. Or we can reduce the burn interval. I'm actually... I think I might reduce the burn interval. The skill is okay. The axis skill is okay, but I'm not really worried about using it too much. Oh, look at this. Another ice pick. Or a weapon. Hit, you know, give me that ice pick. Give me that ice pick. 70% critical damage. It's fate. Open this real quick. No other chest back here. No, nope. give me another ice pick, please. Recover 10 HP when I get a chip. No. Steal more gems. Yes. Set chance of getting one more gem upon defeating enemies. No, I want to steal gems. This actually procs fairly... Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but... Whenever it procs, I, I think I notice it. So it's like, it must be doing good. Another fire room. Give me that. We'll need some HP rooms eventually just to start really boosting our life. But for now, I'm okay with just taking more core rooms. I was waiting for you guys to spawn in. Lazy much? God, I've been waiting for like ages, son. Smack him, chop him, chop him, chop him. That guy's gonna do an attack. Nope, don't want you doing it. Hello, rat. Uh, ooh, another bandage. That's actually really good. If there's another bandage there, if I wanted to, I could not worry too much about my life, get damaged a whole bunch, and then rely on uh, swapping that bandage out. I was about to... Nope. Haha, <laughs> you thought. I was about to charge up and do a, a shockwave attack on him, but I decided against it the last second. Die, rats. Die. Die. Stupid, annoying rats. I should shore you this guy using my hypercore, but I just don't care. I just don't... Ow, I just don't care. Use the bandage. Why not? There we go. Get over here. What's left? Toad, die. Fire upgrade, gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Ah, oh, another skill upgrade for the for the weapon? No. It's a bad one too. Um Flame Path is, is meh, okay? Flame Path is meh. It's not bad. You know, uh, Intensify Burn. The, the path the path is it's it's okay. I still don't have enough uh, roses. Damn it, honk, Hank, whatever your name was again. Whichever one you were, the twins. Come back here and get our upgrades. Uh, this is our first Katana Blade, actually. Yes, give me the Katana Blade. I will take that extra 30 damage on a dash. Um, and our second Katana Blade, as it were. Or I could do what I said I was going to do, which would be to restock my bandages with a new fresh set, but I don't care about that. I'm looking to replace the bandages with the crit drink, the hot sauce uh, gem room. Thank you. Get some more gems means more things I can buy. Lots of fun. I shouldn't be wasting time um, doing the destructible stuff upon entering, but I do. I just do. I like breaking stuff. Look at look at this. How can you not like breaking stuff in this game? It's just it's set out for you so deliberately. It's like here, you want to come break this? Yes, I do. Thank you. I would love to smash. Ow! I would love to smash stuff. Thank you. Um. Maybe I should do a little wrecker. Maybe I should do a sure you. Sure you repper. I don't know why I said wrecker. Sure you repper. Throw that. Kill him. Kill the samurai. Kill the samurai. Do it. Sure you. Oh. See, it didn't really. It didn't really work out. It didn't really. It was like the most depressing sure you repper you've ever seen in your life, right? 
I agree because I felt it, all right? I felt it. Anyway, I'm gonna sip down on my last bandage real quick because I'm being greedy and trying to use uh, hyper cores that aren't great. Give me the give me the toy hammer. Basically, it's gonna like stun enemies every once every five seconds. It'll just give me a free stun on an enemy. It's not bad. It's not gonna really make or break the game, but it's not bad. Bonus to HP. Finally found the champion's belt. Champion's belt is pretty nice to take. Just you know, a little bit of extra HP. That's like, you know, one or two hits from some enemies. You know, it's pretty nice. It's dandy. It's handy. Come into the shop and, ooh, it's offering weapon hilts. But more importantly, uh, I've got a lot of extra gems, thankfully, because I got lucky. And I could get this max HP boost and that 50 HP recovery. I will do that. I have enough gems to spend. Let's reduce the danger level a little bit. Now, at 950, I don't need to go to Sophia anymore. We've already gotten everything she can offer to us. At 953 and having your boy Honk, I think, what, is he still level 2 in Friendship or 3? It should be 400 for an Epic and 5 something, yeah, 560 or so for a Legendary. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have bought the food. I didn't expect two Legendaries and they're both nice ones too. Increase all healing effects by 30% or when below 20% HP, damage is reduced by 30%. The 3% the crit, I'll probably find that at some point during the run anyway. Like, give me the Champion's Belt real quick. The golden champion's belt. That's pretty nice. It's good, okay? It's good. I shouldn't I shouldn't need to explain to you why extra healing is good. It's just good. You know it's good. Also, don't stand in rat poison. Rat poison is bad. It's bad for your health. It's bad for the environment. Don't do it. Open this chest. Of course, the most annoying rat flinging, annoying, stupid dudes are going to spawn up the top and throw those bottles of- how did- dude! How did you do that? Is that another bandage I see? Okay, I might- I may end up taking the bandage this time around. I may- ow! Especially if I keep making dummy decisions like that. Yo, can you burn for me please? Thank you. Get ricocheted on, son. Get ricocheted. Smack. Jesus Christ! When the smash is so good, it lags out the entire game. Okay, we have a lightning core here. Now, I'm gonna take the lightning core. You might be saying, Beals, you are doing fire. What are you doing? I am after a very specific thing from the lightning core side of things. I am after... It's not here. <laughs> I wanna cry. It's not here. We'll take electric vengeance. Whenever I get hit, I snap back to reality on those enemies and do 360 damage. It's just nice because I am getting beat up. I was after the stun grenade. The stun grenade side weapon upgrade thingy might actually be one of the most broken things that you can get, um, especially with how I'm building my run. But of course I don't get it. Uh, get HP back whenever you get a chip. Increase the damage by 20% for each space between you and the enemy for the reboundy ricocheting attack and our side weapon, our sub weapon, that's pretty good. We have bandages, we've got cheese. You know what, I'm gonna take the cheese. Forget the bandages, give me the cheese. The cheese is forever, the bandages are temporary. And I know that's not really good logic because the bandages are really handy, but... Cheese, dude, shout outs to your boys in the chat. Shout outs to cheese in the comments section, you know? You know who you are, dude. I like cheese. Ricochet on him. No. No. God, they're so obnoxious. Yo, look, the cheese is paying off already. No, don't do it. Oh, this section, this room. This room is an absolute pain if you don't have a good sub weapon, which I don't even have a sub weapon upgrade yet. So it's a little bit annoying. Burn for me. Thank you. Wow, our burn damage is big. I didn't think our burn damage was this big, but it is it is quite impressive burn damage. Yo, rat, can you do me a favor and, and not alive anymore? Thank you. Oh, toad. Shoot him. Oh wait, they're already dead. Die already. Thank you. Gimme these, gimme these, gimme all of those nice roses. Come back here. Nah, I don't care about any of that. Give me that main weapon boost. Give me that main weapon damage boost. Oh, it's the same thing all over again. Give me that main weapon damage boost. 5% per boost, but whatever. Now, I'm hoping that you guys can see that the... Oh, lightning room. Good. The double dash that we traded off for um, is proving to be very handy for both mobility and also just combat in general. Um, like, double dash right there. It's just... 
it's so nice to have. Um, it's something that if the game had it baseline, the game would be much, much easier. And I'm, I'm not even trying to make that a statement said lightly. It would make the game much easier if Double Dash was just baked in, which might be why it's not baked in and why it's such a, uh, a rare and high costing thing, so much so that it has a drawback to it. Although maybe the positive is that because it's always basically going to be available in Sophia's place, it's like, it should be like a legendary item that you find out and about because of how good it is. It's just going to guarantee a good time, <laughs> you know? Like they thought that by giving it a trade-off, it would be uh, one of those hard decisions to make. But I see it and I'm like, no, give it to me. It's amazing. I love this item. Electric weapon. Ah, oh, that's too late for that, dude. I'm already going in on the fire. I just want the shock grenade thingy. Um, That's a big damage boost to electric vengeance versus 1.5% crit chance. But then again, all that extra. Nah, I'm doing that. I'm taking the crit chance because we have so many ice picks right now. How many picks do we have? Six? Damn, that's a lot of picks. Uh, More dash damage versus weapon hilt damage. You might be thinking that the dash damage is more worth it, but we're going to find... Look at all these hilts. Look at all these hilts. We will find a bunch of hilts before the end of this run. I guarantee it. Anyway, we're going to come up onto the next boss fight, Rat Matan. Um, this fight's a little bit easier now. With the axe, it can be a little tricky because... Uh, yo, sure you rapper! Sorry, I just... I had to do it. Uh, with the axe, I tend to do one, two, jump... And, and get out of there. Uh, so one, two, pick up my shoe. Three, four. Don't be a bore. <laughs> YouTube. I could have said another word. But I didn't, YouTube. See, one, two, dash. If he raises his hand... I just I like jumping. One, two, jump up. Oh, wait. He's doing this. He's doing this because he's stupid. Because he's an idiot. Oh, yeah. Do that. Short, you rapper! Yeah, get some. Are oh, you doing this? You're doing this, huh? And then you're a little poison. Huh? Huh? Is that right? Dash out of the way of that. No, jump up. Out of the way of that. Smash him. Smash him. Smash him. One, two. In the air. One, two. In the air. Just let him do it. Just let him do it. He's, he's, he moves faster when he's at, at his 50% uh, HP threshold and he starts going into phase two. He does these attacks faster and closer together. So sometimes it's just good to just jump and do little jumping hits. He's not that bad once you know what he does. I did much worse in the in the first attempt from last video, but I, I kind of get him now. I get him now. And this entire uh, bit plays out every time, by the way. You can't skip it from what I know. So I'll, I'll take this moment to say, hi there, how are you? Thank you for watching right now. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're enjoying Blade Assault if you've purchased it. Or uh, I hope that you're enjoying the video anyway and, and uh, getting a nice impression on Blade Assault either way. My goal for the rest of this run is to uh, win. Um, what would make my run worse? Uh, probably if I die. Anyway, let's talk to Rio. Oh, my danger level hasn't really upgraded? Okay, cool. That just means I can hold on to more gems and come over here and talk to your boy Hank and upgrade that Cyclone Dash. So now the number of targets hit is increased and we can even go a step further and increase Gale Axe damage by 20%. Yay. Don't really need to heal. Thieves Glove. Uh, sorry. The Ice Picks were a great take, but that's that's not worth it right now. Uh, let's do the Fire Core upgrade right now. I could upgrade Flare Blitz, uh, which... <laughs> I don't know if you noticed from the Ratmatan fight, but Flare Blitz, compared to the Lightning, it's just... I've, I've, I've used all the Hyper Cores, the Lightning one, the Ice one, and the Fire one. The Fire one is by far... Um, probably the worst of the three. So much so that if I found another Hypercore, even just like a normal little gray one, I would take it over Flare Blitz, which makes me so sad because it is a Street Fighter reference. It's 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 a Ken reference and it's really cool, but no. Uh, let's see, we could reduce the damage interval of the burns or we could intensify the burns. I still don't know what this is doing. And because of that, I'm in, let's do it. And because I've just got so many gems, I may as well upgrade Lightning and boost uh, our crit chance for the conductive weapon even further. And then leave with our 975 gems, which we'll probably get put to good use once we get to Honk in the halfway section of Bugtopia over here. That's right, Bugtopia, woo! I missed with my boomerang axe. Did you see that? That was, that was awful. Open this, move on. We're moving quickly. Smash the stuff, smash all the stuff. Yeah, smash all the stuff, smash that bike. 
I see your bike. You know what I think about your bike? I think screw your bike. Your bike is 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 stupid and crappy. It's it's a bad model. I don't like it. Your bike is dumb. Oh wait, there's a dude. Reach. Shoot him. Shoot him again. Yeah, we did it. I hate uh, the ranged enemies in this act section place, by the way. Um, I'm assuming that some of you do as well. The little dudes who spit. Ah, here we go, another chance. Lightning! Give me shock grenade! There it is! Woo! The best sub-weapon upgrade, in my opinion, in the game! And another ice pick, 80% damage! Woo! Uh, the shock grenade is, is busted, and I'll show you why. Yo, weapon upgrade in damage, please. Thank you very much. So basically, you remember how um, we reduced the MP cost of our sub-weapon with the help of the Vega booster over here? Even though it does a bit less damage, it doesn't really matter because that 20% less damage is immediately counteracted by the enhanced weapon handle that we have. So our sub-weapon is just doing the normal damage. I don't think we've got anything else. Well, we've got this, but it's not really being reduced naturally. It just costs less. Now, the cooldown on... Um, the shock cannon, the shock grenade, is like a second. You see that? It, it virtually has no cooldown. I'm going to take a life room now that we've got our shock grenade, by the way. And the shock effect, there's only one type of elite enemy that has the uh, unbreakable or immovable, whatever it's called, effect. Um, everything is going to get stunned. Everything is going to get stunned by this. I will show you in a moment. I'm kind of anxious about these dudes real quick. Shock grenade. You're gonna hear shock grenade a lot. By the way, did I did I end up killing this thing? Did you die? Wow, I'm doing a lot of damage if you died before. You kill it, why don't you? Kill it, why don't you? Shock grenade. Oh, look at that, shock grenade. Whoa, I mi whoa, I missed. Whoa, okay, wait. Hear me out, hear me out. There's a lot of things on the screen. Throw that, ricochet it, good. Open this, pick up the cheese. Activate this. Uh, shock grenade. Shock grenade. Shock grenade. Shock grenade. They can't move. Uh, kill this thing real quick. Shock grenade. Kill it. Tentacle dude down here. Rude. He's a rude dude. Shock grenade. Shock grenade. I got hit by a tentacle. That That is also rude. Shock grenade. I'm going to come back and kite for a little bit. Pick up this, uh, this cheese. I got hit by a little dude because I didn't see him hiding behind the bigger dude. I'm gonna pick up this cheese. Smash him. Uh, I'm looking like a bit of a dum-dum, but you know what? We can get some HP back. There we go. Fixed. Uh, toy hammer. Uh, wait, yes. Here we go. This is good. This is good. This is good. So whenever our enemies are stunned by uh, electricity, shocked, rooted, frozen, etc., they're gonna take 10% more damage. With the help of our grenade, that's gonna make it all the better. Let's take this handle. Okay, life or fire. I'll take the fire room. I promise you... I will show you what the shock grenade can do, okay? I will show you why it is good. The problem is just that in this area, these tentacle dudes are a nightmare. They are a travesty. They are they are just 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 evil incarnate. Shock grenade. Get out of there. Shock grenade. We shock two of them. They can't attack. They can't do anything. They can't fight back. We're not playing by the rules anymore. Shock grenade. Catch them with it. The tentacle dudes also don't get shocked. It sucks, I know. Shock grenade. Uh, but that's just the way that oh, they want us to, to have to deal with life is the difficult way of doing things Ricochet axe kill all of it. I think that tentacle back there died too. Fantastic. Hit this hit this hit this hit this I'm gonna come all the way over here and throw that ricochet. Oh, no shock grenade Shock grenade Shock grenade dash out of the way of that uh, This little guy has the unbreakable unstoppable effect on him as an elite it's uh, identified by whether or not they have a, like, shield icon next to the little skull. Um, which he did. Which means he can't be CC'd by any effect. Kinda poopy. But that's just the way that it is. I also didn't see that little guy. I was too busy talking. Uh, more cheese. Upgrade my cheese for me, please. Eh, that rhymed. I didn't mean for it to. Yay! Uh, main weapon damage. See, look, look we could... Uh, there's, there's a lot of good things here. So there's the guided missile, which is okay. It's it's cool. It's good. But 25% more damage for our main weapon attack because we've got a fire weapon attached to it. Uh, I believe that's how it's described or translating. Uh, we have lightning rod. Every five seconds, our weapon charges and does 240 damage. I'm still not sure that's what it does because there's a lot of different names for things in the game, okay? There's like, you've got... It says MP 
for some items, but it actually says energy on other descriptions, so sometimes it's confusing. Are you confused? Shut up. <laughs> Rio, my friend, reduce the danger level. The assault level, sorry, assault level. It's not danger level. Call Honk, I don't care about food right now. I'm not buying that piece of board over here, this wooden shield. I've got 1300 to spend. Let's go and spend some big bucks on some big good items. What do we have? Oh, this is not big good items. This is kind of meh, dude. What are you doing to me here? Okay, lightning rod. Uh, all this is kind of meh, but the heated club, just getting one of them. When we get low on life, we'll do 50% more damage. Give me that. And I'm also going to reroll. Give me, give me something, dude. Give me something. Oh, here we go. Lightning rod again. Heated club again. And enhanced champion belt, which I still don't think. Is it even working? Is it's not doing anything. Damage reduction is at 0%. I can afford to buy two things. I'm going to buy this, and I'm going to buy another one of these. I'm, I'm determined. Is it doing anything yet? It must be doing something, right? Oh, spider nest. How I hate you. How I loathe and hate everything about you. Stun gun. Throw that little ricocheting axe. Bully the dudes. Bully the dudes. Stun gun them. Whoa, little man. You see how he's spitting even though I'm nowhere near him? That's the kind of rudeness you can expect from here. Alright. It's the kind of rudeness that you can expect from enemies like this. Stun gun them. Stun gun them. No, dash through that. Dash through that. Get up here. Get rid of these things. Stop him. Stop him. Stun gun them. The stun gun also hits the projectiles mid-flow mid and stops them. Stun gun him. Don't summon the stuff, alright? Don't do it. I hate you. Hello, Tentacle. You're also a nasty piece of work, aren't you? Uh, grab that real quick. Because it's in the way, I will most likely accidentally um, interact with it and make a decision, which I don't like doing, but I've done it plenty of times before, where I, I'm running by and I will press up and just grab the wrong thing. Zip on through. Stun gun him. No, you don't get to play. Stun gun him. Stun gun him. Someone here is going to have un undying or whatever and ruin my day. As is the case. But cheese. Yeah, look, they've all got undying. Like two of them do. Three of them do. Four of them do. Nine of them do. He's got unstoppable. He cannot be stopped. He's unstoppable. Stun gun him. Hit him with the stun gun. Hit him with the stun gun. That guy's undying. Don't. Just die, you stupid tentacle, please. Okay, lightning and ice. Uh, I'll go lightning again. Why not? Lightning has some good crit stuff. It, like, right there. There's Thunderbolt Storm. Ooh. Oh, wait, no. Shock grenades spread. When shock grenade explodes, additional shock grenades are released toward nearby enemies. And you might be saying, wait a minute. You should get the, uh, the voltage boost. No, the shock grenade spread. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, the shock grenade is is busted. It is good. Give me the weapon hilt. 50% more damage so far. I love it. It's it's delicious. Uh, increases main weapon normal attack crit rate by three percent. To give you to give you uh, an indicator of, of maybe a problem here, that's three percent more crit on my main weapon attack. And then if we come all the way down, where do I have one? I'm not even sure I have one. There's an epic item that increases your crit chance by a measly 3%. I'm not even sure I have one. And it, but it's just 3% flat across the board, right? Oh, chips versus coins. I'll get the chips, I guess. It's like, it's expensive. It's an epic item. And the only difference is that what I just picked up only increases the crit chance of my basic attack versus the epic item that just increases all cr uh, crit chance. Ow, dude. Ow, dude. Do not throw... No. Shoot him. Stun gun him. Kill the little monster. Kill him. Kill him. But yeah, it, it's such a small difference, and yet the, the rarity and cost and everything, massive in comparison. Massive. Um, this is not the... Oh, the boss room, is it? No. I should recognize the boss room when I get to it, but I still don't really, to be honest. But the, the reason I'm, I'm wondering is because the boss room when we do get to it. Oh, I, I didn't think he'd actually summoned any, but he did. When we actually get to the boss room, um, once you enter the fight, you can't leave. So, is there... Are there dudes back here? No, I've got to go forward. I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, you can't go back once you enter the boss fight, so I have a tendency to uh, walk in, trigger the boss fight, not even know that I've triggered the boss fight, and then um, 
I've lost my loot because, of course, I'm not going back and looting. I'm trying to finish the room, and I walk in and start. Because it's not like a normal a normal room where you just kind of, like, go in and stuff happens. Yo, stun gun. Look at this. Look at this. Mass CC. Big explosions. Big damage. Stun gun. Stun gun this thing. And these. All of them. Now smash them. Tentacle trying to get me? Rudeness? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, by the way, you can see after I shoot my stun, there's an extra shot that kind of aims out and hits someone else. That's why I took the spread upgrade, because it's really good. Uh, katana upgrade, enhance the damage of our skill. The katana upgrade is okay, but you know what? Weapon hilt, 55%. Oh, look, weapon hilt, uh, 60%. <laughs> The brick upgrade, movement speed, reduce the energy cost of our sub-weapon by an extra 15%. So the Vega booster from Sophia was 50%. Now it's down to 65% less energy. Yo, what up, man? I can't buy the area of effect increase to Cyclone Dash. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it in this run yet, but you actually aren't locked into uh, just one of these weapon upgrades. You can buy others. You can start working on the rest. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm trying to just to get level 5 on Cyclone Dash, but you can, like, buy one or two in all these other weapon upgrades. Like, I could put one in this, I could put one in this. Um, some of the time, like with Explosive Hit, the third hit of a normal attack does an explosion of AoE damage and does, uh, 50% of its, of, of attack damage. That's okay just to have one level in, because it, it just adds something extra that only costs 100 roses, which for the most part is pretty cheap. And then, you know, throw something in something else, and you can get, like, 222 two, two, or 321 or something like that. You can you can put a lot of different uh, investments into these weapon upgrades to see what you really want to do and build. Um, you don't have to just focus on one. I think this is the room before the boss. Yeah, this is the boss one. Um, oh, get out of the way. Oh, that was close. Tentacles make me nervous, dude. Tentacles make me nervous. Tentacles. Nervous. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a bit of freedom with the weapon upgrade stuff that I like open this, and I am actually going to very quickly pick up the pick for 90% crit booster damage. I need, I so desperately would like to have the, um, uh, th th that's it right there. Oh, dude, that's it right there. Hot sauce. So now, ow, don't hit me, dude, don't ruin this for me, I'm trying to talk. When we activate our hot sauce, we gain 50%, here it is, boss fight, 50% critical chance on top of our 90% crit damage boost and all of our other boosts. Dude, it's kind of slick. Disgusting, even. I'm waiting for her to hit the ground, by the way. That's when I want to... She's going to do eggs. She has to do egg sacks. There we go. Bash through that, trying to avoid the poison, although I'm not doing a good job of it. There she goes, there she goes. Activate this. Hit it with the big damage. Hit it with the sauce. Hit it with the... No, don't do that, lady. Shoot it with the stun gun. Shoot it with the stun gun. Okay, just gotta wait. Just gotta wait. Stun gun, stun gun. You did some damage to me, lady. Rude. More eggs, more egg sacs. Kill this guy. Lady. What are you doing? Oh, pizza. I can shoot these with the stun gun and kind of get rid of them. It's pretty handy dandy. Uh, do not, do not, do not. Egg sacks? Egg sacks are good. Egg sacks are good. Oh, good. Oh, good. I think you're just dead. No? Now you're dead. Good. And there we go. Revenge on Charlotte. It was a messy fight. I landed in poison. I got hit by some stuff that I shouldn't have. You can do that a lot cleaner, but it's good enough for now. So, Frozen Spear. The Frost Arrows are upgraded into Frozen Spears. They pierce through enemies and push them back. Um, freezing Burst kind of wasted. I'm not really able to inflict freeze on enemies, nor with the dash. I'm not really worried about that. They have a chance to be frozen, but I'm not going to get the dash just to try and get Freezing Burst later. Let's upgrade the Frozen Spear. And uh, move on. Here we are on the Nautilus, where I'm going to talk to your friend Rio and ask for the danger level to be reduced. 
I'm still 81 short of getting the last upgrade on that, but unfortunately for me, I made some mistakes and have to get a bit of healing back, but thankfully I don't have to spend much. I can get get my return pretty easily. Um, get the fire core upgrade. What can I do here so I can get 6% more damage on that? Hypercore, nah. Intensify the burn. Do that. Uh, upgrading the ice cores. What's worth upgrading in the ice cores? I could upgrade the spear. I could upgrade... Wait, th that's the arrows upgrade to the spear, right? It's like a passive thing. Yeah, so the arrows and the spear are the same thing. Um, there's not really anything else that I want to upgrade. Lightning-wise, I could upgrade a few things, so I might do that. So I could upgrade the damage on the shock grenade, I could upgrade my crit chance a little bit, or when the shock grenade explodes, additional grenades are released. Uh, we do this to increase the spread of, of shock grenade itself and make it do just more damage. And I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna be really greedy because uh, I just don't want to have low life. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the extra heal. It's only like 30 life, I know, I know. But I've got plenty of gems left. 216 gems is fine um, for this. And here we are at the hospital, where we get to experience a little bit of lag while enemies are spawning in. Yo, can you actually hit something in Ricochet? Um, we have uh, police in the hospital for some reason. And we have uh, patients in the hospital. Shoutouts to uh, uh, the care system for looking after these fine individuals. Um, because the way that this floor works... Uh, yeah, 5% chance uh, damage will be received, uh, to reduce damage received by 1 or whatever. I, I didn't read that very well, I'm sorry. Um, shock grenade, get him. <laughs> because of the way that this floor is mapped out, as you can see, uh, stopping and like coming back after, after the fact to loot is a little bit trickier, if not impossibly dumb and stupid to try and do, because it's all up and down linear stuff, so I'm just gonna grab, um, upgrades as they appear. I'm going to come to the right here. There's a chest. Always is. Stun grenade. Stun grenade. Stun grenade. Big man Yupi looking fool over here. Shoutouts to Hunter Hunter fans. Yo, another ice pick. 100% bonus to crit damage. This is fantastic. Drop down here. Wreck all the good stuff. Smash this. Come on, spawn already. Stun grenade. No. In fact, I'm gonna activate crit just to just to really bother you, son. There's a dude over here, right? Yes, there always is. That guy right there, I never remember about that dude. It's one of those enemies that spawns, I forget that he's there, and I have to like run all the way back thinking, okay, what have I done wrong? I, I shock grenaded in the wrong direction, as you saw. Shock grenade, shock grenade, shock grenade. Oh look, they're all dead. Shock grenade, shock grenade, shock grenade. It's a big man, right? No, not yet. A big man is going to spawn. Shock grenade. Throw the ricochet. Shock grenade. Open this. Yo! Cheeky, son of a... Oh, lag. Shock grenade. Oh, he's got unbreakable, right? He does, he does. So, oh, dash out of that. He has the effect where he's not going to get hit by CCs, which means I have to just genuinely fight this guy. Thankfully... He's a big weenie. Oh, this guy's got it too. Why do you both have it? Oh man, you're annoying. Is that another bonus to critical damage I see? I think it is. Your lightning upgrade. There's no fire there. I just care about the lightning. Lightning weapon. Electric weapon on a sword with this kind of a build is really good, by the way. Increase my electric vengeance. Increase my vengeance. Um, oh, do, I keep, do I keep pushing ice pick or do I go for cheese? I'm gonna push the ice pick. Let's do that. Fire versus... I'm gonna go the life room. My fire is kind of... My damage is fine. My damage is actually really good right now. What's not good is my total life could do with a bit of a perk up. You know, a bit more HP. Okay, I was definitely behind that officer. All right, I was behind that officer. The fact that he did that is just, is just rude. All right, I was behind that officer. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Golden weapon handle, increase the attack of mana weapon by 30%, or when hit return, 1,500% of damage received. The cactus. The the legendary weapon handle is uh, something that I like to use. I normally take it, but whenever the cactus shows up, I take it because, you know, I never get to use the cactus. The cactus is actually, like, super rare for me for some reason. Don't know if it's also rare for you, but it's damn rare for me. And if it shows up, I take it because it's cool. 
because its effect is badass. Shotgun. Get up here. Stun gun. Shot grenade. I keep saying different words for it. Increase attack speed by 5%. Why not? It's 5%. It's not great. It's also not bad. Stun grenade. Stun grenade. There's one dude in there who's unstunnable. I think he died. Ricochet axe. Hit these dudes up here. Get the burn going on them. Officer. Put the baton down, officer. Put the baton down. Put the riot stick down, officer. You just gotta keep dashing through. Typical shield enemy, you know. They- Oh, I had to dash through the- The nurse was coming in hot. Like- like- like the nurse that she is. Damn, nurse, stop! And I had to dash to escape. And I got hit still. Stun gun. Yep. Smack him. Smack him. Is he gonna come loose? Stun him again. You know what? Activate crit. No, don't. Stun him. Yo, Bulga? Stun him. Ah, smack, 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 stun him. Smack, 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 smack. Kill him. No, no, no. Stun gun. Can you see why the- Dude! I thought he couldn't do it so soon. Your own elite one. I guess the elite ones are just faster. Shoutouts to paying attention. Uh, don't do what I do. Pay attention. Pay attention in school, kids. Stun him. Stun him again. He's dead. Good. Ah, man. I wanted to boost max life, not just heal in general, which I'm going to do instead. I guess that's fine. Coins or chips? Fine, I'll take chips. I'm not really happy with my total life right now. I want more max HP, but because I'm playing dumb, despite having a really good build, this is this is a fine build, by the way. Um, I wouldn't say it's like super duper 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 amazing, but it's good. It's good enough. Um... Because I'm playing like a bit of a dum-dum, I'm taking a lot more damage than... You know what? Give me this. How much can I push this, really? Between the ice picks and these these basic weapon enhancers, how much can I continue to boost stupidity here, right? Lady, look, there's her attack. She takes a really long time to do it, and if you fall all the way through, there's a, there's a middle floor that we have to actually go back to. But you can, uh, yeah, do that. Throw that. Throw that. There, kill them. There's a lot of hidden chests. I shouldn't say hidden, they're not really hard to find, but there's a bunch of chests hidden around. Um, yo, bandages sound kinda lit. Oh wait, that's a matchstick. Fire damage increased by 7%. Could have used those earlier, considering they're not really a rare item, but now that we're in, uh, spoilers, the last area of early access available to us right now. Open this up. Uh, there's the 3% crit boost, which I will take for the sake of showing it to you. Look at that. Crit chance increased by three whole percent. Dude, that's insane, right? No, because there's a common item that I took a second ago. I shouldn't say a second ago, a little while ago, that increases crit chance by 3% for basic attacks anyway. It's kind of redundant, dude. If anything, uh, I'm trying to not make sure I miss the yo, extra fire damage, please. Yes, down here. There's a bunch of chests down here. This is a good place to come into. Stun gun. Stun gun. Die. Open that. Open that. Uh, give me something good. Give me something good. Increase the power of the levels of all electric cores. Why not? We've got electric cores. More main damage. 13 levels in the stuff. Come on. This is kind of silly. And then we come all the way back. We've taken a bit of a detour. Come down. I'm so sorry, by the way, for the, the rambly, runny commentary. I decided when I was doing this video that I was going to do it as a long unbroken uh, thing to kind of show a full run to the best of my ability. I mean, if I die on the last boss, so be it. But I will have at least shown you as much that I can um, before the suck takes over and I get bad. No, stun him. You can see how the stun gun... Have I... Have, has my impression on the stun gun uh, held true? Do you guys believe me that the stun gun is, like, ridiculous? I hope so. Give me this. Okay, I can actually get some max HP. Ah, oh, damn, I was hoping for the 30 max HP. Alright, I'll take this instead. Yo, halfway point, let's go. Now, I spent a lot of resources back there to, you know, reduce the danger both times, right? Reduce it all the way down to one, because our danger level finally went up a little bit. Um, I can't afford anything in the, in the middle shop area, so... Movement speed increased. Ah, 
that's not terrible, I guess, but it's not really necessary. I might save it because I can spend that on um, a crate in the next area. I spent a lot on those on those chests, but the rewards in those chests were worthwhile, right? Because Honk in here is going to charge us 400 for an epic. Damn, I really wish I could have gotten this golden weapon handle. Damn, 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 damn. Um, or even the hourglass. Both of these legendaries are really good because the hourglass makes up for the double cooldowns from the blindfold that we took. Uh, where is it? This item right here, skill cooldown is doubled. So this helps to compensate a little bit for that. And this is just good damage. I can't get either of those, but considering that Honk wants to charge us like 300, uh, 400 for each of those items roughly, and we were getting them back in the last area for like 150 to 200, not bad. Um, yo, game is having a heart attack right now. And I don't know why. Stun gun. The big green dude right there, he cannot be stunned. He's a new, as is big dude right here, obviously. A uh, big creepy eye thingy. He uh, summons little flying minions. He's like a hive. He just summons little floating things that come after you. Real nasty piece of work. Uh, bit of a damage sponge, to be completely honest. He has a lot of HP and isn't afraid of nothing. Open this up. Stun gun. That little dude upstairs died immediately from that. That was quite ridiculous. Damn, we are doing some damage to these... Yo, undying dude, stop it. Kill them, kill them, kill them. They're undying. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Stun gun. Big dude. Okay, that dude on the left. The dude on the left cannot be stunned. I can see that he cannot be stunned, so I'm going to move away because... Oh, 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 big green, big green. Because I can see that I'm going to make a mistake and think that he's stunned when he's actually not. Oh, see, one is... There we go. This guy can't be stunned. Throw the weapon. Shoot the stun gun. Hang on. Sure, you rip... Ah! Just because we haven't done it in a while. Yeah, it was real good, right? Real worth it. Real amazing. Is that... No, it's not it. There's more. Okay, stun the ladies. Stun the officer. Lady is going to charge at me. Stun the ladies. Hit him with that nice stunner. Show them what you're about, you know. Impress the ladies. Smack the police officer. And we come over here and we get to fight little dudes over here. Ooh, wow, one crit and he dies. Smash, dude. Excellent. Oh, it's the end, right? No, it's not the end. Okay, it's the second last room before the end. Fire. Let's go. Uh, chain explosion. There we go. That's a good one to get. Uh, fire blast, which is what happens after 10 stacks happen. Uh, big bang, boom, pow, zap. Explosion. Um, increasing the damage of our thrown axe skill is nice, but uh, a second fire blast explosion, a second later for 150% damage is really nice to take, and I will take it. The heated club upgrade is actually not bad. I could see myself getting to that low on the, on the boss fight and then needing to benefit from that damage spike. Bit of max HP, why not? I'm not worried about the hourglass thingy, the, the telescope, because believe it or not, I'll be close to the boss during the fight. Um, not too far away. I can see it's still helping, especially if it's as broken as it's, as it's like, theorying suggests. That if you just move a little bit away, you do more damage. What have we got here? Uh, gems versus roses. I'll take roses. There should be a honk spawn at the end of this room coming up here, I think. Which means I'll get to spend all these roses, get to level 5 on our new skill. And then, yo! Yeah, this guy is like channeling a heal, by the way. This effect that's affecting everyone, this this thing. Yeah, effect that's affecting everyone. Good, good. Way to, way to speak. Um, it's healing everyone affected by it. It's like a tether effect. And it's actually easier to kill him while he's doing that than to uh, kill him afterwards. Because he does fight back once he's done, you know, trying to heal his friends. He does fight back, and it's a bit of an annoying dude to take down. Ow. Don't want to take unnecessary damage. Coming up towards big boost food. Oh, dude. If only I had my, my big... Oh, man, that shockwave, though. That shock... Ah, dude. You know what? You know what? You're a big dum-dum. And I hope that you... Unalive. There, activate the crit. Chop him down like a big tree. Shock her, shock the lady. Shock the little bug thing. Shock the lady. Shock them all. 
shock them all again. For the fun of it, just shock them all again. No, officer. Shock you. Oh, 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 the mix-ups. He doesn't know where I am. He's dead. Yay! Give me this. Is Honk gonna spawn? Honk? Honk? <gasps> He's not here. It's Hank anyway, isn't it? Weapon hilt. Sure, why not? Give me the weapon hilt. Uh, another weapon hilt. Sure, why not? Give me the weapon hilt. There was another one back here, right? Oh, look, a weapon hilt. Give me the weapon hilt. 90%. We're at level 16 on the weapon hilt. This is stupid. <laughs> Assault level is, is what? Level 2? We've kept it pretty low um, throughout the entire run, if not like to the, the bottom of what it normally goes to. So uh, I hope this has been like a decent example that you can you can play the game and not worry too much about the... Yo, shock them. About the assault level stuff. It's, it's like... It is there to make you go faster. Yo. Uh, I'll come back and look at you later. I, I, yep. I think that's a bad one though. One that I don't care about. Um, yeah, you don't have to worry too much to be all like, oh no, I have to, I have to speed run the game and go dummy fast. Um, I'm going a little quick, right? I'm rushing, which I don't really recommend that you do, but it doesn't have to be as difficult as people are worried that it's going to be, you know? He disappeared. He, he straight up died and did the disappear. Uh, yo, here we go. Here's the boss room coming up. And we're gonna go and get to go and fight big last boss dude. All his glory. No, I made a mistake. I wanted to shock them all, and I didn't shock them all. Yeah, you're dead. Shock all the ladies. That lady is is immune to being shocked. I gotta be careful of that one lady. She has shock immunity. I think there's another one there with shock immunity. Oh 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 oh. Tenticulars, I see you, Mr. Tentacular. They're bringing all the good friends back. I saw a lady there. There's another lady that can't be stunned. You. Oh, good. She's dead. Stuns. 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 Die. Good lord. Lightning upgrade. Let's go. No honk? Hank? Before the end? Really? Damn, dude. Increase crit damage by 20%. Yo, that's on top of all of our ice picks. Delicious. Increase the level of all owned fire cores by one. Delicious. Increase uh, healing effect by an extra 10%. No. Fire cores all get leveled up all together. All of you. What an amazing thing to get at the very end of the damn run. Oh, well. Uh, none of these are too consequential. Let's just take an extra energy reduction. So when HP is below 20%, MP is not consumed. I really don't care about this. This is only if you really like uh, spamming abilities. And even then, uh, our MP cost on our shotgun is already pretty low. It's mostly for uh, like your hyper skill and your, your normal skill for spamming them. Um, I'm not worried about them at all. I'm not worried about the toy hammer. So believe it or not, uh, I'm going to take the 17th hilt for that 95.00001%. <laughs> Max damage boost. And I'm so, so, look, I've got all these roses and gems. Let me spend them. I didn't get to level five. Normally he spawns at some point like in this last area, but he didn't. Oh, well, anyway, final boss, win or lose. You're going to get to see him. Um, I'm not great at fighting this guy. He's a little bit BS, if I'm not lying. And by a little bit, I mean he is complete ass to fight against. There we go. I'm sorry if I'm... You can dash through those. you got to time it. There's the spikies. You just move away from him. No, no. Oh, that was almost bad. It was almost tragedy in motion. He is summoning minions. No, don't do it, little dude. Oh. Spikies. He's going to do extra stuff as soon as he hits half HP. And it's really annoying. Although he's being a little generous to me right now. He's being a cool dude. He's being super chill, super nice and friendly. There's the extra stuff. Oh, he's going to summon things. Okay, so this this extra plant life is... is it? Oh! Oh, dash through all that. Plant life. Enemies. Lasers. Oh! Got to circle it. Got to circle it. I didn't even see him charging it. Did you even see him start this? Yo, is that, is that, is that a burger over there? Oh, the double back and forth. That's why the double dash is so good. Oh, oh. It'll come up from the ground all at the same time. But we've got another life. We've got that second life with 80% HP. Let's come back. It takes ages, by the way. Come back already. 
No, dude. I have to kill that plant. I have no idea what it does for you, but it does stuff. Just get up top. Get up top. Ha! Ah, he just keeps doing it. And now again. Stop, dude. Oh, he's doing it again. Dude. Dude. Oh, you're so cheeky. You know what? You know what? Do it. Do the bit. <gasps> you know why? Show sure, you rip. Ah! Uppercuts. Ah! You thought it was bad, but it's actually godlike. And there's Plantos. And I think there's a bug because I've kept my... It looks like I've kept my low HP damage. Oh, yeah. There is a... There is an actual ending, like, cinematic for the first time you beat the boss, but if you beat him afterwards, you just kind of get sent back. <laughs> Early access. Forgive it. Forgive it. Early access. Fun game. Fun game. Anyway, I've got a bunch of cubes to spend. I'm going to come over here and upgrade Honk so I get uh, an extra 10% discount in his shop. I don't think it really matters. I've got enough that I can get uh, a few things here anyway. There we go. So I've only got one more for Angela and one more for Max, and then I've maxed out all of the, hurt pun intended, maxed out all the friendships. And I'm still not level 30, so this last row is uh, going to remain a mystery to me for a bit. Over here at the weapons, we've got a bunch of chips. Um, I'll probably show you the gun next time around. Um, spoilers, I don't like the gun. Don't expect that to be a great run. The gun is kind of meh. Um, I've already got level 10 in frenzied firing. But because I've got so many to spend, I'm going to come back over here to the sword. And you know what? I'm just going to... Max out the sword. There, the sword now is finished. Everything is finished on the sword. Come over here to the axe and start working on that last one. Wait, did I... I'm one away. I'm three chips away. Ah. Now, I guess I should show you guys this because, you know, for those of you who are curious, there is a uh, difficulty scaler that you can use. Um, a lot of rogues use this kind of a feature where you can... Once you've beaten the game normally, you can uh, boost the difficulty of future runs if you'd like. So at Assault Level 1, because I haven't beaten one, I don't have two unlocked, but at 1, 5% more red gems upon defeating enemies, extra coins, extra chips, elites do more damage, bosses do more damage, and the risk gauge for your uh, Assault Level thingy, uh, it, there's so many names for things, is 15% uh, quicker, which is huh, nice. I can only imagine what Assault Level... 10 it must be like. So there you go, uh, pretty, you know, clean-ish run from start to finish. I hope you guys have learned the virtues of the stun grenade uh, sub-weapon item and why it's so good. The other sub-weapon uh, attachments are really good as well, but the stun one is just such a good utility. Uh, especially if you do the kind of build that I did where you go to Sophia's as soon as you can in the first shop and buy out all of her stuff, because it's just all so good, like all of it, but... With all of that said and done, I gotta get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.